Well, let's see if we can unpack this quicker than your mother-in-law's suitcase when she comes to visit at Christmas time. ARB awning unboxing, just a quick one. The 1250 model, 1250 wide, one side of the vehicle to the other. That comes from the vehicle out, 2.1 meters, 2100 mil. This is known as, as pictured, the rear awning. You know, you, people do use them on uh, single cab utes, I think, and vans, horse boats, whatever. I think it says all that stuff there, suggestions. Uh, typically used on full drives as a rear awning. I've got this because it's 1250 wide. My rack is around 12, 1250 wide. So it's going to be a nice fit. Won't protrude each side of the rack too much as I'm driving along. Just a bit paranoid about it maybe clipping anything if I grab the 1400s. It's the only reason I didn't go for a matching Darchi awning as I have the Darchi Eclipse on the side. If Darchi had a 1250, 1200 awning for the rear, I would have grabbed it. Theirs is 1400 wide. That's the only reason. Plus it would have looked better having a black one to match the uh, side awning. This is uh, the ARB Touring, that's what they call them. So I've opened it up, had a look at it, good bit of quality. First impressions, uh, pretty good. Slight little gripe or suggestions for improvement, which I'm sure they've people had people mention to them before. Um, no guy ropes that I've found in here, no pegs. Uh, I was just assuming they'd be in here. Every other awning I've ever owned, I've owned a few now from no-name brands and cheap stuff like Tigers 11. Um, I've got Darchi on here. Uh, I've had a couple of Darchis. Uh, you know, all come with L brackets, pegs, guy ropes, etc. Even a little carry bag to put all that guy ropes and pegs in. Now, it is supposed to come with a, a, some minimum hardware of some nuts and bolts, as uh, noted here. There's none in the packet. Uh, I'm sure ARB would... Send me some out or give me some. I went to a sh one of their stores or something where I got this from at uh, down here at Hoppers. Um, but I've got plenty in the shed, so I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. But I, I thought it, uh, they did come with the L brackets. Um, obviously not. Um, and no guy ropes or pre pegs. And there's not even provisions in the awning, in the uh, aluminium extrusion here, to actually tie a guy rope through. All they have is a bit of rope on the bottom. Maybe that's their new design. He's just put a peg in there. They don't even supply the pegs for that, though. Uh, I've got all this stuff in the shed. It's not going to end the world. But I just think that, you know, if a $100 awning can include all that hardware, how come, you know, I think these are about a couple hundred bucks, something, 250 bucks, something like this. Uh, I've got it on sale at the moment. They've got it on sale. So, But, um, yeah, you think they could include that because it would cost them two-fifths of a sweet FA. Anyway... I'll let you know once it's all fitted, and uh, we'll give you a proper proper view of it and a bit of a re review once fitted and see how she sets up. Uh, but at this point in time, yeah, looks pretty good. All right, stay tuned.